about Auz billahi minash shaitan rajeem Bismillah ar rahman ar rahim Welcome back in this video lecture I will tell you about the recombinant and the techno DNA technology What do you mean by the recombinant DNA technology basically it is a technology of the cutting and pasting the DNA and the using of the DNA fragment for the beneficial purposes this technology was first introduced by the Stanley Stanley Cohen's and uh, Herbert Boyer's the Stanley, Stanley Cohen's and uh, Herbert Boyer in 1972 Stanley Cohen and Herbert Boyer in 1972 first used this technology and they cut the genes of the located a DNA and a chromosome and insert it into other organisms for using the beneficial purposes so the other one the DNA technologies the step basically the five step that is used for the DNA technology first of all the best and the first steps for the cutting of the DNA for it instruction side now prepare the copies of the genes for the PCR PCR stands for the polymeric chain reactions now that the species is within the, the reactions and the vector inserted into the whole structures and, and the next strand of whole structures and, and obtain the product from the recombinant chain and then in the previous I will tell you that uh, this technology genes or multiple genes can be identified cut inserted into the genomes of another organism for example, DNA is cut into the smaller pieces and it, uh, for example, it, uh, uh, GNA is, genes of the DNA is cut is, in this way, and it's cut is with the help of the institution enzyme. Next, uh, the, the Stanley inserted this DNA fragment with the help of the vector into the organism in which he wanted to obtain the product, in this way. So the DNA test, after the genes from the DNA, from a uh, chromosome, and from the Message RNA and chemical synthesis it can be a part of the genes. Molecular synthesis are used for the cutting the genes and a fragment of the DNA or a, a fragment of the chromosome is the endonuclease, the social endonuclease and the sticky side and every gene has special side and uh, these sides are most often during the transcription toxicity processes and may be open during the sticky ends. Uh, basically, the DNA is a restriction endonucleases inside in the molecular system that is used to cut the frame of the DNA and a sticky side. Vectors. Now, when we inserted a gene within a vectors and the vector transit to the host organism and, a strand, and we obtain a product from the host organism, this vector. What are the vectors? Vectors basically transit the desired genes into the organism. Our organisms can under its own food carrier, they understand? So the vectors used for this, the plasmid in the bacterial phage virus. Bacterial phage virus. Here you notice that you must be looking in this. That it is a human cells and here we obtain the human growth hormone. And this is a specific sticky site. Understand? Here the DNA fragment is cut off. And the next step, we obtained the vectors. Now the fragment is now cut off. First step of the recombinant DNA technologies was to obtain the gene or uh, cutting the genes from the sticky side. The second one, when you cut the genes from the sticky end side, it is trying when you cut the DNA from the sticky side and you prepare the copies and copies for the PCR and strand now you have a this sort of copies the next step to insert this vector genes into vector how for example vectors for the plasmid to obtain for the bacteria cell and uh, here this is the plasmid and you cut is with the sticky and it's cut off now separated and you inserted this copies of the genes in this vector in this sector, within this sector, understand? Now you join the side together, understand? Now again place this vector into the bacteria cell, understand? Now again place this vector into the bacteria cell, and the millions of the copies of this synthesized. So the first step basically is the cutting of the genes from the from 
comes a sticky end. Now we prepare the copies of the genes with the help of the PCR. When we prepare the copies of the genes, now insert it into the vector. Understand? When you insert it into the vector, the next step will be the transfer of this vector into the host organism. When you insert this host organism to obtain a million of copy and the, the product you want to achieve from the organism. So that's all about these topics. And this topic we study about the DNA recombinant technology. I hope you understand if you have any clinical question, you may ask in a question.